Good day, my dear uh, financial management class. So let me formally welcome you to our online distance learning class. So I'm going to be discussing two valuation topics. So that is, we have bonds valuation and stocks valuation. So today, I'm going to be giving you an overview of these valuation topics. I'm going, to be, I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to be explaining what to expect in this online distance learning class. So let's get right into it. We were going to have colorful slides in this uh, distance learning class. So you can see that the slide that I'm using for this overview is different from our bond valuations and stock valuations topics. Okay. So first, let's define what is a bond. A bond actually is an instrument of indebtedness of the bond issuer. So since this is a financial management class, we will be focusing on corporations. Although governments like like the U.S. or even municipalities, they issue bonds, okay, and they do this to finance their projects. Okay, so they issue bonds to the holders. So technically, bond holders are like the lenders. So a bond is a debt security in which the issuer owes the holders a debt. Okay. So depending on the terms of the bond, the issuer is obliged to pay them interest. So the issuer, the company, or the municipality, or the national government, so they are required to pay this holder's interest. Or later, as we dig deeper into the topic, interest payments are actually called coupon payments. Okay, Or to repay actually and or to repay the principal at the maturity okay. because some bonds actually don't pay interest you earn from the difference of the bond present value and the par value of the bond okay more on that later so like what i have already mentioned Corporates, corporations issue bonds to finance huge projects like buying a company or expanding plants, buying equipment and machineries. In 2013, just for example, Verizon, Verizon Communications issued the largest bond in history. It is worth $49 billion. Dollars. Imagine that, $49 billion. That's a lot. So this is actually that news. It says here that Verizon prices record-breaking 49 billion bond deal. But this bond deal is actually a combination. Okay, combination of uh, three year, five year, seven year, 10 year, 20 year, and 30-year maturities bond. So they are doing this to finance a 130 billion acquisition. So they are going to acquire a company of its wireless unit, its Vodafone. They're, they would want to acquire a huge stake on Vodafone, which is also a telecommunications company. So let's move on. So in this topic, we will be discussing the characteristics of bonds and how corporations use them. We will also discuss the different types of bonds. We have callable, bond, bo callable bonds, convertible bonds, and other types of bonds. And in this bond valuation topic, since it is a valuation topic, we will be computing for the annual coupon payments, 
present value interest factor of annuity or PVIFA, present value interest factor or PVIF, PVIF, and lastly the bond present value. So don't get intimidated. The computations are very manageable and I'm going to be guiding you throughout this computing process. Okay. So in this topic, I'm going to be also um, telling you how to invest in bonds. There are actually many ways to invest in bonds. And in this topic, I'm going to be giving you three ways on how you could invest in bonds. Okay. And then I'm going to be also showing you what's the current trend, what's the current news in the bond market. And you will learn later that interest rates play a major role in bond valuation okay so now let's uh, discuss the second uh, topic of our valuation class okay so first let's for, let's define what is a stock a company stock is an evidence of ownership of its owners okay so technically if you own a stock of a corporation you are a part owner so a single stock represents fractional ownership of the corporation in proportion to the number of shares. So in the Philippines, since I, I own a, an online stock, uh, uh, stock brokerage account, I am technically an owner of some of the major corporations in the Philippines. But I only hold a small, very, very small fraction of those uh, companies. I'm, I'm an owner, but I'm almost a negligible owner, okay? Because I own very, very little of the, those stocks. So in this topic, we will going to know that uh, common stocks, common stocks have voting rights and dividends, okay? So these are, we will be discussing the two types of stocks. And then preferred stocks have commonly no voting, vote, no voting rights. I, I'm saying commonly because I have experienced receiving a preferred stock before, but with a voting right. Okay. So preferred stocks are entitled to fixed dividends, unlike with the common stocks, which is where which actually sometimes are optional. Okay. It's going to be based on the decision of the management. Okay. So like. Uh, Bonds, corporations use, stock, use stocks to attract investors or to attract owners. So if they attract investors, owners, they, they will receive money. And that money is sometimes used to, again, finance huge projects like buying a company and or expanding plants, equipment, machines. So it's most of the time, it's more on corporate expansion. Okay. So... A while ago, I mentioned the, the highest or the biggest bond issuance in history. So here, I'm going to be also sh um, mentioning that the stocks of the stock exchanges of Chile and Argentina actually is, are the most expensive stocks in the world. Take note, in the world. How expensive are their stocks? It's around two million dollars a share okay that's a lot okay so it says here that shares in chile and argentina bourses or ex major stock exchanges costs more than two million dollars that's very expensive so in, in new taiwan dollar that's what six no 60 million right 60 million right 16 million NTD just to buy one stock of those exchanges. So in the stock valuation topic, we're going to learn about the valuation of assets, particularly stocks, based on the current value and its dividends. And then we will also uh, specifically, we will be discussing the valuation of common stock and preferred stock. Okay. We will also discuss an alternative means to value 
common stocks using price to earning price to earning ratio price to earnings ratio okay. and we're going to question I will going to answer the question what are the current trends in the stock market so I'm going to be giving you a news related to stocks so that's the end of this uh, short introduction I hope you have uh, learned a lot in this particular background that will help you in understanding the next topics of this online distance learning class regarding valuations bonds valuations and stocks valuations thank you and have a nice day